Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Pork here, yeah? The voice of hardcore boxing. And with me today, I've got Dale Nichols. How are you doing, Dale? I'm good, mate, yeah? I'm alright. What's been happening, Dale? What are you unhappy with? Because I take it, this is going to be a blast, is it? Well, I'll tell you what I am unhappy with. Yeah. It's the abuse of pay-per-view, the, pay the fact that we've had no UK contest for two years now, yeah. the fact that we've played over 560 pounds per head for pay-per-view in the Eddie Hearn era, we've had, yeah. over what, we've had only one point two on average world title fights on pay-per-view yeah. in six years. Yeah. We're expected to pay now for Derek Chisora versus David Price. Yeah, but in Taylor Progre on that as well? Is that Eddie Earns promotion? No, it ain't, no, it's, uh, it's, a, it's Sourland, isn't it? So, so Eddie Earns highest profile fight on this pay-per-view is David Price versus Derek Chisora. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, how many defeats has, uh, have them two got between them? Fifteen. Fifteen defeats, and how many times they've been knocked out? And they've all, between them, have been knocked, beat at every single level. European, yeah. world, and British level. Yeah. So, the best belt between them all is Price's never, never, what's his best belt he's got, Price? Price won a British title, and Chisora won a European title. Right, what, who's Chisora's best win? Tackham. Tackham, and who's Price's best win? Audley Harrison. Audley Harrison. Gee, it's not good, this is it. I mean, getting back to pay-per-view, right? Uh, if you say anything, you're classed as a hater or bitter or jealous. But when Dennis were working with Ricky Hatton, and I don't like to hark back onto this, but obviously because I work with him, I do know little bits and bobs. Chris Brown said to Dennis, we have pay-per-view, Dennis. For the simple reason that we cannot miss this fight. This is why we have pay-per-view. But now it looks to me like everything's pay-per-view. Any anything that's got a little bit of good to it, it's pay-per-view. I mean, Jamie McDonald never got pay-per-view against them fights he had in te Texas that were top draw. But yeah, they want to put these sort of fights on pay-per-view. I, I don't get it, what's going on? Is it because uh David Price dropped Femi or Chisora throws tables about. What is going on, Dale? I mean, what do you think? What's going on? Well, there's a few stats I want to point to here. Go on then, yeah. Um, of Eddie Hearn, um, Eddie Hearn pay-per-views. Of the last 13 pay-per-views, yeah. only, five, only five of them have, had, uh, have not had a world title fight on them. Only five of them have not had a world title fight in the last 13. So, of the last 13 pay-per-views, nine, um, eight of the 13 have had world title fights on. Five haven't. Well, uh, Tony Bellew's been in four pay-per-views and three of them never had it. Three of them want for a world title, were they? No, Cleverly no, want a world no. title, Cleverly fight, Cleverly rematch, and the two... No, no. Uh, Cost cutter ones, one of David Cost Cutter Hay. That's what we call David Hay, by the way. Never cost Cutter. You what? Never done a chief support. Never done a chief support with two undefeated fighters. Yeah. In 34 pay per views. Yeah. One, two world title fights in 34 pay per views on average. So what's that then about? 30 world, 35 world title fights, is it, or somewhere? All together? In, how, many, how, many world, how many world title fights? About 35? Yeah. 35 world title fights on 30 pay per views, is it something like that? That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, but Eddie Hearn, didn't he say that he was going to put a world title fight on every. Every time it was Sky, whether it were pay-per-view or not, it were guaranteeing a uh, world title fight. It was supposed to be every Saturday fight night, weren't it? Yeah. Do you think, Dale, that 
they've seen the money coming in from the Femi pay-per-views, the Joshua pay-per-views, and they thought, let's just keep abusing it until the fans vote with the feet. Because while the fans are putting up with it, they're going to keep doing it, aren't they? Well, AJ was responsible for the pay-per-view going to put on thing on Skype. The what? Joshua was the one who was responsible for pay-per-view, going up three quid. Yeah, he went from 70, yeah. It was 15 quid Frotch Groves, wasn't it? Uh, no, Frotch Groves was 16.95. 16.95. What was the last pay-per-view that it was 15 quid then? Oh, it would have been the Audley Harrison one, wouldn't it? No, was it Kessler? Kessler Frotch. Klitschko. Klitschko. Pardon? Klitschko Hay. Klitschko Hay were the last 15 quid one. That were in Germany though, it went out to do it Hay with Hearn, were it? No, that worked, that worked, you didn't have the exclusive match, didn't it? It were what? It, that, was, that was before he had the exclusive story there. Yeah, so, so Eddie's had 30 deals, 30 pay-per-views since he's gone exclusive, but I think altogether, on Sky, since Eddie took over, has there been about 34 or something? Yeah, because there were a few other ones, weren't there? Hey, or, hey Harrison. Uh, yeah, Mayweather Pacquiao, yeah. Mayweather McGregor. Mayweather McGregor, Mayweather Pacquiao, hey Harrison. And the the other one is the, what's the next one? Oh, is the 34th one Femi Ruiz 2? Is that his 34, the 34th 34 one, one, yeah, in the in the era, yeah, in, his, in the Eddie Hearn era. So that's in the full, that's in, is that in eight years or nine years? Eight year, isn't it? From the Hay Harrison, when the Hay Harrison, when was that? 2010. 2010, so in nine year then. In nine year up to Femi Ruiz rematch, in nine year we'll have had 34 pay-per-views on Sky. Yeah. 34 times whatever it's cost, it, it, it's going to work out at 600 and, what, 640 quid or something like that, is it? Something round about that, is it? 560, isn't it, plus four more pay-per-views. Is, is that 34 pay-per-views or 30? 34. 34 pay-per-views comes to 585 quid extra on top of the subscriptions, yeah? Which is 40 quid a month. Yeah, yeah, 40 quid a month. So 585 quid, and how many millions will that add? How many millions of people have bought that? I bet there's a few, low, I bet there's, could be 20 million, couldn't there? 15, 20 mil, I don't know how many people do you think? I, I think if you, I think some of the earlier ones, they didn't do 100,000 boys, did they? But no. they can't have any people between 2015 to 2017. So, but top end of it, you could get up, it could be top end, 400 million, could it, or no? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, we don't know what, they're not releasing all figures, are they? It's in the millions, the isn't it? One. The biggest one was Joshua Kritika. Yeah, that was 1.2 million, wasn't it? I thought it was 1.7. 1.7, was it? 1.7 at 20 quid, so that's 34 million just on that alone, isn't it? And then you've got Joshua Parker with the second biggest. So Eddie Hearn had 6.8 million for himself off the Klitschko one, just on the pay-per-view then? Is it 20%? Then is it? Wasn't he supposed to be reinvested into Saturday Fortnite? Yeah, yeah, they were supposed to be putting their money. Well, look. I'll take that back, we don't know what Eddie Hearns had, we're only going on chit chat aren't we from Idol, Boxing Gossip, but millions and millions and millions of pounds been milked out of fans pockets, right, this is how we're looking at it aren't we, and nobody seems to be saying a word, now, well people do say a word because they want me to put things out, people in the boxing industry are encouraging me to speak out, right, whether it's damaging Dennis's promotions or what, I don't know. Bree don't care anyway, he puts friendship before pound notes. Well, I'd like to think he does, but he says he does. But this is how I look at it, right? These pay per views are, 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 are gonna, there's gonna be an overkill, isn't there? Right, sooner or later. And I personally think, Dale, that sooner or later fans are gonna vote with their feet. This bubble is gonna burst, isn't it? And who's going to be left to pick up the pieces? Because Ern will be gone, won't he? He'll be gone. 
once he's creamed everything, they'll do it his old man did, won't he? When Steve Collins beat Eubank in rematch, they bailed out, didn't they, more or less? They hardly put any shows on, did they? And I think that'll happen again, do you? Well, we already know that the, two, the last two pay-per-views have done terrible numbers, didn't they? Boyd, Rebank, Lomachenko, yeah. Carlton Yeah. And this Josh Tyler one will do the same. It'll, it'll do less than 100,000. Yeah, it will, yeah. I believe it will as well. I believe it will. I believe it will. I think they're, they're all the are in the Joshua basket now. I think if Joshua loses to Ruiz again in the rematch, the pay-per-view bubble could be burst. Well, I, I'm not so sure about that because he's got a, a plan B and then a plan C. His plan B is Usyk, I've been told, and then his plan C is Ergovic. Now, they reckon they're going to be the big noises, don't they? I've been told that Usyk, Dillian White, Ergovic, in another 18 months, two years against any of them top guys' pay-per-view. Now, I won't put it past him putting Usyk in against anybody and saying it's pay-per-view. Anybody. That's just how, how he is, isn't it? That's just how he is. He, he, he seems to bring these guys in, Dale, from abroad, like Lomachenko and Golovkin and obviously Usyk and so, and put them in with British guys and so these are the top foreign guys and our guy against them is pay-per-view you know like Bellew Usyk and uh, Luke Campbell Spence Kel Brook yeah Golovkin yeah I mean Spence Frankie Ga uh, sorry Frankie Gavin Kel Brook were pay-per-view wasn't it that was a good card though yeah it was a decent card yeah but are they pay-per-view fighters though at the time Oh no. No. It, we've got an overkill, haven't we? Oh. I think so. I think you look at the pay per view landscape and the quality has decreased so much in such a, such a short space of time. It's almost like he's planning the pay per views. They've got the date set and then they're sort of trying to slot the fight into that. Yeah. So. I think he's already been thinking Chisora Parker as a headliner now because he's had that bit of, de bit of delay, a bit more of interest or get drug drugged up off it. Chisora all ice price. Yeah. And then he'll call out, do his big charade, call out Parker, you're ducking me, and then they'll headline a pay per view in February. Do you think, yeah? Yeah, 100%. Do you think that Parker's injury is genuine? I mean, if it is, his name should be Peter Parker, shouldn't it? Because he, sh he should be Spider-Man, shouldn't he? If that's a spider bite, I mean, is, is he going to come out uh, in a Spider-Man outfit to his next fight? Because he's been back bit by a spider, hasn't he? I would put it past them, would you? Well, they've done everything else, haven't they? I mean, what well, scripts can they spin that. now? Hey? Superman egg. You what, pal? Oh, Superman. Superman egg. Well, we've Superman. had Batman, haven't we, with Tyson? We could have Spider Man with Joseph Parker, and then the Superman one could Superman. be. Tommy Coyle. Tommy Coyle. Has Tommy he been Coyle. Superman? Yeah. Never. Oh, my God. Oh, he's. Oh, God. I thought I were bad, but. And then you've got the claim, which is well, haven't you? KSI Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good, mate, is it? It's not good at all, but what can we do? I mean, like I said, it, it, it I'm trying to put positivity. So Dennis and Nicola keep saying it's some positivity on your channel, but while the fans are being abused and like I said I'm the voice of hardcore boxing, well I'd like to think I am but other YouTube channels seem to be sticking it to me these are the YouTube channels that support Ed everything that Eddie Hearn does then tell me that they're not on the payroll well I block these people now but this is how I look at it I'm sticking up for hardcore fans and these other people can't seem to understand that I mean, people must have money to burn. You know, these 20 quids for these pay-per-views, shocking. How many times do we watch a pay-per-view and after it we, th we think, do you know what? That were good value, that. How many times do we see it, Dale? 
I have not brought a pay-per-view since Klitschko, Joshua. Did you buy that, yeah? The last one I brought. Yeah. Also, we know was Brooke Spence Brooke after that, weren't he? I brought that as well. Did you? That's a good fight, yeah. Brooke Spence, wasn't it? We can't say it wasn't a, a bad fight, can we? It were a, I thought it was a good fight myself. But, yeah, that's the last one. That's the last one. I mean, do you want to do you want to know some some of the um, some of these pay per views, right? White versus Chisora too. Do you know what the team support was? What? Ryan Walsh against Reese Belotti. Ryan Walsh against who? Reese Belotti. Was that on Sky? That was that was Boyd Chisora too. Cheap support. <laughs> Jesus, it's I not thought that really. Gen, I thought that was right. No, it's not next. It's not it. No, it ain't. it's Reese Belotti, Ryan Walsh, Ryan Walsh, Chief support. Well, that would have been because Dillian White owns the show, doesn't he? And the guy you were fighting, she's over. They won't want to pay out, will they, when they can get them two on for ten grand a piece? Do you know what I mean? They don't want to be spending too much, do they? Because they know that they're not going to get loads of buys. But it actually did all right, that didn't it? White against Chisora. The pay per view did it. Well, it was the, the same note as Frampton Warrington, weren't it? Yeah. I told Dillian White, you know, on a direct message, but he eventually, after about a year of following me and uh, direct messaging and actually eventually blocked me but I did say to him look what he's going to do is going to want you back in with Chisora because what Eddie does he drops things out doesn't he in conversation on IFL he uses that as a tool to drop things out to test the reaction it's like he even tested the reaction to Shannon Briggs and said it was only banter didn't he you know it's only banter I mean he hammered the KSI Logan Paul thing he hammered it and, and then it did good numbers and they thought about it because he, he thought that'll not do good numbers and once it did good numbers he thought, do you know what? I'm going to do that and say sod it so what's he going to do? He's going to meet things head on and say yeah, actually all the criticism makes me horny but really he knows that it's stepping overboard isn't it really? I think so they've gone too, they've gone too far with that haven't they? on pay-per-view is taking the piss out of every single boxer. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is, mate. Giving, it's... Them, giving them that platform. But people are not going to say anything, Dale, because... Where's your dignity? People want... What it is, you see, mate, people want to work with them. They want to get on Sky so they're not going to go against the narrative, are they? And this is what we're in here. We've got managers, trainers and other promoters. You know, they all what they all know what's going on. But they don't say a word. And I can understand that because they want to look out for the fighters, don't they? I mean, some of my videos, <laughs> people around me are like, oh God, Russell, why don't you just tone it down a bit? And I'm like, no. Right, I won't tone it down if you give me whatever. It, it, it won't. What, what, we live in a democracy, don't we? What are people going to do? Come around and terrorise me because I've got an opinion over what's right and what's wrong. I've always, I've always been like this all my life. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just go against the grain because there's a few people that are, are unhappy with it. Why well, should I? Do you end up? Yeah, he's had a crash in a Ferrari, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Is uh, I feel sorry for him, him and his family. I hope he's going to be all right. But getting back to having an opinion, look, we live in a democracy, as I've just said, and are we not allowed to say anything? Look, the YouTubers that speak to Eddie Earn, right? Your Coogan Cassius, Michelle Phelps, Rob Tebbett, Rob Tebbett, people like that, they're tiptoeing around the issue. Nobody mentions. Stubbub. Nobody's mentioned Stubbub in a question to Eddie Hearn for seven months. Did you know that? If anybody can find an interview with Eddie Hearn where somebody's mentioned Stubbub to him, send it me on Porky oh Porky Corner at mail dot com. That's my email or at Corner Porky Twitter. Send me it because nobody's mentioning it. They've it's been swept under the table. This Stubbub swept under the table. 
Um, it's just like with the snooker that they're doing. They've got uh, they're, they're doing away with waistcoats, aren't they? Because they've got a, a clothing company are paying match for them a lot of money, so that the fighters are just going to wear these black shirts with this emblem on for this clothing company. And they're doing away with waistcoats, and all the snooker hardcores are going mad at the moment. And I'm one of them as well. <laughs> I don't agree with it, but. It's about generating money now. That money's not going to be going to players, it'll be going to match them, won't it? Which the businessmen aren't they? It's the bottom line with them people is to generate as much money as they can, but they're not bothered, are they? They're not they own snooker, don't they? World snooker, they own it, so they're gonna do what they want. Whether we like it or not, these people are money motivated. And I think a lot of it's wrong, but they have his, his dad's done well for snooker, so we can't have a go at that. They've done well for snooker, but we all know we'll put snooker on the map, don't we, in late 70s. It was Alex Siggins, won it? And look how he died, Alex Siggins, in, in a bed sit, didn't he, with no money? Do you know what I mean? And he, he, he built snooker up. He didn't want to sign him, would he, because he wanted to keep it Higgins against all the matchroom work. They ground him down, didn't they? And, and that's what they're trying to do now with uh, anybody who goes against the grain. And... It is what it is, isn't it? But this is how I. If you I... can't beat them, join them. Yeah, if you can't beat them, join them. And there's a lot of people who will go against the, uh, the grain. They try to do, it, then they realise that they've got to join them. Uh, Billy, Joe. Billy Joe went against the grain. They had his belt took off him by Matchroom, didn't he? He blamed Matchroom, but where is he now? Well, he, he he's oh, there yeah. doing interview. He's doing interviews, saying, "Well, people are calling me a brass, so what?" and it'll blow over it's tomorrow's fish and chip paper money talks and bullshit walks and people lose all sense of whatever what's right and wrong when they where they're presented with money in front of them it's same as other youtube channels they're presented with opportunities in front of them and you know they lose they lose the shit don't they they soon they soon forget what's right and what's wrong now, I'm fortunate enough that I will never be in that position, but if I were, I don't think I would. I mean, pff, I mean I've mean, i done prison sentences when I didn't need to, when they've said, look, go guilty today and you can have hours. And I've said, no, no, it ain't right, that. And I've ended up with porridge. And after that, I thought, God, if only. But sometimes you just have to just go against the grain, don't you, I suppose. I don't agree with it, but Eddie's done well for boxing in the last nine years, but some of the stuff that, how they go the about the business, I don't, I don't agree with it, Dale, you what? The pay-per-view side, it's just disgusting. Yeah, I mean, if you put Chisora on, and against Dylan White rematch, we are pay-per-view, and Dylan White Parker that's not pay-per-view, and Dylan White against Rivers that's not pay-per-view, you'd say, do you know what? They're good Saturday night shows then, wouldn't you? Because if they could put Carl Frotch on against Ward, Frotch against Booty, if you could put that on and it's not pay-per-view, you can say, do you know what? That's a good Saturday night show, that isn't it? I'll subscribe to Sky if you're not a mem if you're not a subscriber. But it's got to the stage where it's been abused, isn't it? And like I what like the point I made earlier is pay-per-view is supposed to be for fights that we say, do you know what Dale, we've got to get back from pub here, we've been out all day, we need to get back home, we cannot miss this, they've not gone out in the, in the pub, let's get back to mine and we'll both chip in a tenner each and we'll watch uh, this fight that's on, it's got to be for the fight that you can't miss it and Dale we can't miss this fight, but you don't see people saying come on let's get home, uh, we've got uh, whatever summit fights that he's been putting on, we've got to get back for that. No, they're banking on the fact that people are going to buy it anyway and say, look, it is what it is, this is how it's going, let's just pay it and, and shut up. They're, they're hoping that it's, people are going to have that sort of mentality where they just put up with it. A bit like Tyson Fury. And Frank's not going to get off with this. We, 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 Frank, Frank Ron's not going to get off, off with this lightly. We're Fury Wallin or Fury Swartz. I mean... What's that? Fury Wallin, Fury Swartz. That's not pay per view. Well, the thing, the reason, that, well, what's all this rejoicing on the WWE? Well, it, I mean, this is how I look at it, right, Dale? Tyson, what did I say 10 months ago after Wilder fight? 
I see he's not going to rematch him, yeah? Won't happen. And I've been abused, and I've been abused to such an extent that I'm not even going to go into it. Some of the stuff that I wish some some people. Well, yeah, you've told, you've showed me. Some yeah, I wish some people could see some of the stuff I get sent. Keep it coming because it prove it the best. It's the best compliment you can pay me when you're going out your way to send stuff like that. So keep it coming, but. It's just shocking, but he's not going to fight Wilder. He's got a bad cut, and he's been told, "Look, you've got to go steady with that cut." And blah de blah. Now he's running, doing all this. We all know it's pantomime and acting and choreographed and that. But why would you risk a cut like that, doing that kind of thing when it's uh, you've got a big fight with Wilder, February twenty second? That's because that fight's not going to happen, is it? It's not gonna happen if no. it happens I'll wear a matchroom t-shirt for a month every day but it ain't gonna happen it's it's not gonna happen it's he's not gonna go in with somebody that can put his lights out completely and, hurt, and hurt, or hurt him do? hey isn't it something to do with BT BT I've got the WWE now or something yeah I don't know, probably, but... Uh, look, he's a showman, isn't he, Tyson? He gets his set out there, but when all's said and done, you know, it, people can say I'm critical on that, but the point, the moral of the story is, his job is, he's a boxer, right? I ain't got anything against any boxer in as many millions as they can, but not when we're being fed rubbish. Now, Tyson Fury, he's a masterful boxer, but he's not beat anybody other than Vladimir, who were in his 40th year, He's got one world title win four years ago. That's it. He's had five fights since his comeback. And he's gone four and oh and a draw. And who's his best win since his comeback? He hasn't got a title. This Laniel thing is... Pianetta's his best win. This Laniel thing is in... I don't know what that is, but... If you go on Wikipedia, it says that he vacated, didn't he? So, this Laniel thing, it's a load of old rubbish. But he did beat the man. But when you vacated, he doesn't become the man. That man stuff is still... Nobody knows who the man is at the moment, do they? Because Tyson's making a claim for it. Ruiz, Wilder and Joshua. One of them four is the man, so... They've all got to fight each other. Joshua's fighting Ruiz again. And Wilder, he's got to fight one of them, hasn't he? They've, he's got to fight Tyson. Tyson's got to keep his part at bargain and keep the fans happy. And if he fights on February 22nd, he will get massive respect from me and I'll buy that fight. But if he doesn't fight on February 22nd against Wilder and it's put back, well, I want to know when it's put back till. Is it going to be put back eight week? I think it could be. So let's say he fights Wilder April. I'm going to give it while April. So let's let's not get hard, hard on Tyson. Let's give him while April because of the cut. But why risk that cut? And, uh, and tell us you fight in February 22nd when, but yet you're risking court. That to me says you don't want to fight while at Feb 22nd. And if you don't want to fight in Feb 22nd and you're risking court, I don't think you're going to fight again at all. I think you might just, well, I, I think him and Frank Warren are going to end up in court. I see it heading to court. I said it uh, to somebody who I'm not going to mention, but I said, so listen, they'll end up in court. Then. And he said, you reckon? I said, yeah. He said, well, I think so as well. They'll end up in court, Tyson and Frank. Well, we're going to see, aren't we? Frank's pondering to him now, isn't he? And people are saying, Frank, why is he doing this wrestling thing? And Frank's saying it's not ideal and all that. If he had if he had more of a say in it, he'd be raging, Frank. But he ain't, is he? Because he got no control over Tyson. He's a showman, isn't he? He just loves the camera, doesn't he? And being out there. And good luck to him, but... Don't tell me you're fighting Feb 22nd and then you're doing this WWE stuff, cos... They don't know with that, Mike Tyson did it, Buster Douglas did it, didn't he? Or were he a referee or something? Or they've all Mayweather. done it... Mayweather. Mayweather, they've all done it, so good luck to him. But if you've got a fight lined up, you wouldn't think you'd be carrying off like that, would you? When you've got four months away from a fight, four months away... And you're doing that kind of thing. We are cut that's not had stitches took out. It's risky, isn't it? Risky. It's not happening. It's not happening. No, it ain't happening. No. Hey, Johnny Nelson says it ain't happening, so that probably means it is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what about Nigel Ben? Farcical. Farcical. 
Yeah, isn't it? Someone needs someone need to, to put an arm around him and say, your time's up. Yeah. If that does 50 tickets, I'll be amazed. Is that what? If that does 50 tickets. Who's the big daddy? I just want to thank uh, these people here for for backing Porky's Corner and saving me a fortune in snooker bills. Uh, they are letting me use it four hours a day, uh, six days a week. So thank you very much. It's much appreciated and uh, like I said, it's uh, say six pound ninety an hour at Rotherham. I think it's four quid at Woff. So thank you very much. The body custom has returned home. some chalk on. Rico don't forget to get me that chalk from Finland. The chalk that makes it so you don't get a kick. Keep watching, keep watching, there you go. Now that is a very hard shot to do, like, it takes 15, 20 goes to do it, that, right? <laughs> you want me a tenner? One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> 